hello and welcome to king tech coding clinic now this video is just a short demo video which uh, talks about the key features of the system okay we've already recorded a complete one hour video that shows you step by step how you can work with the system how you can admit students how you can manage fees how you can manage examinations and everything there is complete video on that but this one is just to show you some key features of the system okay just a summary and the overview of the whole system so now let's quickly delve right into that so from the home page here or the welcome page you can log in by clicking on this button or if you have forgotten of your password you can reset your password by entering your username and then when you click on reset password you get a new password popping up at the top here and then you use that to log in so now let me just log in from here so login successful after entering every details so from here this is the home page from here you can show tools where you can see the toolbars and everything and then you can also hide them as well so from here we have the dashboard that shows the data of student data here teachers data and then the fees data is coming up here so first of all you would want to customize the system to suit your school how do we do that we will do that for you right so you just click on this customize button where you just enter the name of your school here the address contact logo and everything now what is going to happen here is that once you click on submit these details will appear on every sheet on your on the system from student reports to fees receipts to admission receipt and every details to the the bill sheet and everything the name of the school the logo and everything is going to appear on all that okay if you want to print the student enrollment with just a click of a button just click on this and then you get the student enrollment you just name it from here and then you get a student enrollment from the system based on the classes okay from let's say from crutch straight to ghs you just get the enrollment just like that so that is that about that and also you would want to send sms you click on this and then you set up sms we've already recorded a video on that and then it's included in the package once you are able to get access to the system you see how that is also done now let's quickly navigate through the other things such as the teachers let's start with students so when you come here you can admit student from here just click on this button you enter student details here you just click on admit and there you go once you click on the admit another form will pop up where you can assign student to a class and this is how the form looks like okay you just enter the student id here. let's say i just enter one here when i pull this data i get the student details and then whether the student is promoted or repeated or whatsoever i'll add that here in the status so once i'm done you can see we have the classes here from crash Nature one, nature two, kg one, two, basic now that is JHS. Whichever class you would want to assign the student, you just click on that button and then the student will be assigned to that class. So basically, that is that. And also, here we can import data from the previous version. Those who have used our version 2.1 before, who are already using it, you can import that data into the system and then continue with the version 3. Okay, you can issue admission receipt from here by entering the student ID number and then you click on submit, and this will print the student admission receipt for you is very simple let's go to the home page and we also have the teachers okay with the teachers details very simple we can capture that from here okay where you can just click on teachers record so here we can just use this button to enter all the teachers details including your pictures we have the id the name the gender the date of birth the staff id the registered number date of first appointment snitch number designation academic qualification professional rank year of promotion phone number email address bank a branch that is account number gross salary next salary hometown nest of kin relationship contact and all other details you can just capture them from here at a glance with this uh, form it's going to be very simple and if you need a summary of the teachers emis data you can just grab that from here you have the, the summary of the data you've just captured from the main form okay so it's very simple as that okay so that is that about the teachers as well now we come to classes we have the various classes from here from crutch this is a crutch and then we have the natural one natural two to ghs three okay we have all that from here then we come to fees when you come to fees you have the payments here where you can update payment here we have a lot of things we can do here we can create our payment list and this will be taken from the admission list we can check payment data if anyone is coming to pay you can pay through this particular form here the video the the, the complete step-by-step -step video is already there to show you how to do that i'm just showing you the key features okay so you can do anything you would want to do about fees payment from this section okay so let's quickly so you can issue payment receipt you can import fees data from the previous version you can generate bulk bill sheet you can generate single bill sheet you can you can settle payment issues from all these areas without any problem let's go home and move to exam scores okay 
So with the exam starting from KG1, this is where we can get the student details from here. So what we would want to do is this. We, would want, we don't want the burden to be on the particular teacher who deals with data entries and all that. It's going to delay a lot of time. So what we do is that we have the import and export feature where you can just click on export. So when you export this particular sheet, what is going to happen is that the sheet will be protected. Okay. And then it will be given to KG1 class teacher and she will have to enter all the student scores for all the subjects. After entering all the scores for all the subjects, she will then straightforward move to the end here and then give us the student interest just as we normally fill in the report student interest and then the attitude and then the, the conduct and then the academic year open date and then closing date the term and everything is going to be entered from here by the teacher everything is going to be done by the teacher the class just remarks is going to be here and then the head teacher's remarks is also going to be here and then whether student is promoted or repeated we have that here and then the class that is promoted we have that here as well so once the teacher is done filling all these things, the teacher will then save this file and then bring it back and then it will then be imported using this button. So once you click on import, you can import that sheet the teacher has filled into the system and quickly what you can do is to generate report. So how do we generate report? We just move straight forward to report and here the first thing you would want to do is to click on this to upload that class here signature. You have to just pick your phone, let the teacher sign, just take a picture of that and then when you click on browse, you grab that signature. And when you click on submit, you have that teacher signature appearing on the report sheet for that particular class. We have the same feature for all the classes, so you don't have any problem with that. So here, you would have to create a folder on the desktop called KG1 report. You have to browse in using this button to get that folder inside here. So once you are done, you click on this PDF and then it will generate all the report inside that folder for that particular class for you. As simple as that. Let's quickly go back home. So you can do that for all the classes. So now another thing is you can send SMS to teachers from here. Provided, supposing you would want to give them some update about maybe meeting or whatever, you can just click on compose. What you have to do is just to enter this the message from here. Okay. So once you click on submit, what is going to happen is it, it will generate, it will just append with the teacher's name, say hi, and then the teacher's name, and then the other information you have just added. So once you click on compose, it will generate this for all the the names of the teachers you have here as well as their contact okay so once you click on send sms the message will be sent to all the teachers. the same thing applies to parent as well suppose you would want to send them uh, uh, maybe message on pta meetings you can do that as well you just compose your message from here like i said the details of that is in the in a complete video that shows you how all those things are done it's very simple let's quickly go back home here so here you would want to email reports to student to parent okay maybe send the reports the exams report to the parent via email you can do that from here so what you can all you need to do is just to create the email list so once you click on this this will create the list from kg1 class okay and then you browse that folder in which their reports are located and you have that folder pathway so once you click on display and send you will, you will see that the reports are generated but before you do you would have to compose your email or you enter the email subject here then the message here then you click on submit and this will be displayed inside this field here for all the contacts the names and then the guardian name and then the email address it will be it will create the email for all of them so once you click on display and submit it will just create email for each and every student having their report file inside that email so once you click on send it will be sent to all those parents for that particular class and you can do that for all their classes so in short and in summary that is how this amazing system works so the most powerful aspect of it is how the exams makes very simple okay where you can just import and export when you go to jhs okay the same thing applies to the jhs as well let's come to basic maybe basic seven that is jhs one you can you can export just the area for let's say english teacher because at the jhs we have a subject teaching okay you just export this for english teacher and you will have to only fill for the english section and then bring it back but before you do that the list will be created from here by clicking on this button when you click on this button, it will create the list of students here, the admission number here, the class and gender from here. Everything is going to be here by hitting this button. By then, you've already admitted students and then assigned them in their various classes from the initial form that I showed you at the home page, okay, or at the admission session. So once you click on this button, you can just do that. And then you export this sheet for English teacher. You can export this one for math teacher. You can export this one for science teacher for them all to fill once they are done you can use this button to import them back into the system and have the report generated it's as simple as that if you would want to export all this sheet for basics that is just for one teacher to fill for all of them you can use this button to do that 
So once you export and give it to the teacher for them to fill, you can use this button to import for all the classes. But for a particular subject, you use these two buttons here for export and then importing. So it's very simple and this makes the work very easy for all the teachers in, in each class or each uh, subject. So once you are done with everything to prepare for another time, you can clear the exams list. You can, you can also clear the scores and then the, the system will prepare to take another details for another term. You can log out from here. Once you click on this log out, you are just logging out. So you are just logging out. If you say no, you wouldn't log out. You click on this and you say yes, you are logging out of the system. And simple as that, that is how, in summary, that is how the system works. Now let me show you something that I didn't uh, talk of. Now quickly, let's log in from here and we quickly go back home. So now the head teacher's signature. You would want a head teacher signature to appear on all the reports. We can do that with just a click of a button. It's very simple. It will appear on all the bill sheets, all the receipt, all the student report. Everything it will appear on the system with just a click of a button. So you click on this one. You browse and grab the head teacher's signature. You just locate it wherever you save it. You give, grab it. So once you have, I just click on submit, and you will have this particular signature appearing on every sheet, the reports. The bill sheet, the receipt, it will just appear with this simple click of a button. So it's as easy as anything can be easy. So basically, that is that about the, the simple or the summary demo of this system. Thank you for watching and bye.